When the Trinity Western men's volleyball team departed for Russia in September, the preseason trip abroad was supposed to bond brothers and build the foundation for a run at winning this year's national championship. But no one knew the incident that would happen in the coming days and how that moment would bring the team closer together than anyone could have imagined. It's one of those invaluable moments that brought the team together in a way that we probably couldn't have without it. So don't ever like to believe that um, that had to happen for the team to bond, but our team bonded well because of what happened. And that's uh, when so we worry about the way we respond to stuff. I thought the guys responded really well. In the evening of September 4th in Annapa, Russia, the Spartans were playing a club team filled with both pros and university players. And it wasn't going particularly well. The Spartans dropped the first two sets, but then momentum started to shift towards Trinity Western. The Spartans won the third set, but then early in the fourth set, left side Mark Howitson went down in a shriek and a heap. Basically what happened, I went up to block on the left side, and I just came down and right away just... Uh shooting pain in my ankle and I let out a scream and then as I was falling I saw that my foot wasn't in line with my leg so I knew something was wrong and it was just excruciating pain and then I was on the ground next thing I knew. Um, and then right away it was uh, interesting to watch the reaction you had, uh, you know, all the athletes on the court kind of surrounding Mark with a couple assistants and uh, there with him and then all the guys on the bench just right away dropped and kneeled and started instantly praying and so when this full gym had this kind of uh, multiple sport games scenario they had there. And so a full gym, and our, got half our team kneeling on the bench praying, and the other half surrounding Mark with him, laying hands on him and praying for him. And it's a really neat moment to watch the guys under stress immediately. Their first reaction was to go to prayer, and that was, uh, that was fun to watch happen. Well, they, they banded together, they bonded. They went first to God and then second to each other. And that was uh, that's probably the, the model that you, you choose to have your team follow at all times. The actual experience was kind of a, a spiritual experience for our team, just seeing them seeing me in such pain and me just having those guys around me was a good experience, if you want to call it that. And so it was just really a, a culmination of what we've been learning as a team and we really grew through the experience, I think. Upon returning to Canada, the doctors said dislocating the subtalar joint in his foot is extremely rare, and to do it without a break or a tear was a medical miracle. The doctors have just marveled that nothing broke or tore, or the fact that he has range of motion, and the fact that he might play again this season, let alone ever, is still a bit of a miracle. And so, um, people have heard of this happening, but no one's ever you talked to doctors and physios, and no one's ever seen it heard of it. It's kind of like a unicorn. So Mark's our little unicorn. Since then, the road to recovery has been impressive. Less than four months after what could have been a career-ending injury, he was back on the floor playing libero at the Spartans Christmas tournament. And this weekend, he'll be back in action against the Calgary Dinos. Less than five months ago, Howitson was writhing in pain on a Russian court with a foot in all sorts of bad shape. Howitson's injury brought the team together in a special way, and for some, answered the question, why do bad things happen to good people? And proved that in God's plan, anything can happen. Oh!